Hi, this is Nancy with Life's Blessings. I hope you're having a great day. And today I'm going to be talking about what to do when life gets in the way when you're homeschooling your children. A lot of times we set a certain schedule and then something comes up. Maybe a child gets sick or maybe we have some business to take care of or, you know, we're, we have an unexpected errand that we have to run or... Uh, just whatever, life comes up and we don't get to do our sit-down studies for that day. That doesn't mean that your children aren't still learning, but it does mean that, you know, it kind of puts a damper on things. It kind of puts a damper on your schedule because you had certain subjects that you had um, planned out for the day. And what happens when, you know, what, what do you do when something like that happens? So, I have a perfect example of what I do. Last week we had to go out of town for a little while for two days on business and um, we weren't able to do our sit down studies on Monday and Tuesday for that reason. Now my kids were still learning, we were still talking and you know exploring together. We took a little um, couple hours to just explore right there in the area and I posted a video and I'll link that down below of where we did just that. We were exploring in Biloxi, Mississippi. So um, I will post that video down below, that link in the description box for you if you would if you want to go back and you know watch uh, us walking on the beach there and see how beautiful that is. Um, but we weren't there for the hat. We weren't there for a vacation. We weren't there to just chill out. We were there on business. And so it was a trip that was necessary and there was no way around it but yet we still had to fit in homeschool for that week so um, we had just come off of a break and that wasn't my intention to go from a break to you know a vacation while it wasn't really a vacation but you know what I'm saying um, from break to break on homeschool um, that wasn't my intention at all but it was something that was necessary so um, what did we do? Well, my family follows a loop schedule. And what that is, is that we do not teach every single subject every single day. We have certain days of the week that we teach certain subjects. And I have discussed that in another video, and I will try to link that down below as well in the, in the description box under um, loop schedule and how loop schedules work. So... On Mondays, we have been having unschooling days or free days, whatever you want to call it, where we go to the library, we pick out books there, we um, still talk and learn, but we don't do any actual sit-down studies. So we're a, a basically what you call a four-day-a-week homeschool family. So um, on Tuesdays, we do Bible, math, spelling, and history ordinarily. So... On Wednesdays, we would ordinarily do Bible, music, science, and language arts. On Thursdays, we would do Bible, critical thinking, and spelling. And on Fridays, we do Bible, art, and science. And the reason why I do that, the reason why I have a loop schedule in the first place, is so that we can enjoy the rest of our day, so we don't have to spend all day long worrying about schoolwork. The kids can go outside and play. My children are still very young, four and six, so they can still go outside and play. We can go to Mamaw's house at least once a week. We get to go to the park. We can fit those things in our day without having to worry about whether or not we did enough today. We know that we did. So this week, we were last week, sorry, we were out Monday and Tuesday because of our unexpected trip that came up. So... We had to switch some things around. We still had Bible every single day. We always do that regardless. And on Wednesday is when we ended up doing our math, our science, and our spelling. And then on Thursday, we did art, critical thinking, and history. And then on Friday, we did music and science. So, with the loop schedule, it's easy to just switch it over to another day. Because if you're doing an all subjects every day type of schedule, then you are going to be behind in your studies. If you miss just one day, it's a big problem. There is, you know, 
panic involved because we've missed one day and we have to make that up. We have to go back and, you know, do math for today because if we don't, then, you know, we're not going to finish our math by the end of the year or, you know, um, that's why I have implemented the loop schedule in our homeschool because I know that with the loop schedule, it's easier to just switch things around and still get them all done. So if you have interruptions in your homeschool, you can still get everything you need to get done. And um, the kids won't be behind. You won't be stressed out. It won't be as big of a deal. So that's why I encourage you to look into the loop, the loop schedule and um, see if that would work for your family. If you are you know, busy people like us, then I'm sure that you will find it very useful. I hope this video has helped someone. I'm going to try to link those two videos down below, the one where we were in Biloxi and also the one where I explained our loop schedule. So I hope this has helped a homeschool parent out there somewhere and have a great day. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then I ask you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're doing. And for all of our old subscribers, thank you so much for sticking around with us. God bless you and have a great day.